What's going on guys? It's your boy Ridge Daddy. Today we're gonna try and do some work. Probably gonna regret it. Something's probably gonna break. We're gonna be trying to put these nice RV6 pre-cat deletes that I've had sitting in my house for God knows how many years, four at this point. We're gonna try and get them in here. Maybe get it a little louder, maybe get some flames. The thing that really doesn't help is that these are made for the older generation of Ridgeline, I think. But when I talked to them on the phone years ago, they said that they should fit in the new one and I just never did it. So let's do it. All right, so we're doing the front for now. We're not taking off the J-pipe yet. Undo the three bolts that are holding on the front cat. I think I gotta remove this clip uh, so I can get this bent out of the way. So I can reach these two, which are holding on the EGR pipe. I'm tired of the sun. Tent came out. Now it looks like it's an actual project there. We are removing the supports for the push bar, uh, as well as the top middle section of the radiator support. So I got to pull this, flip it this way, so I can get this out. All right, so. We had to take out three bolts, both sides, upper rad support, here, 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 these three, same over here, I'm able to rotate this backwards, I had to pull out some clips, I disconnected the fans, um, I pulled out a clip from the fan right down here, and I think I did that obviously on the other side, otherwise it wouldn't be out, and there's two 10 millimeters, one here, and one here, they look like this. Once you get those out, move the coolant hose, little overflow tank hose out of the way, and get up, boom, somebody here. So now I gotta disconnect the top of the EGR and the four bolts on top of the cat, which look really clean. And then hopefully, comes out of here I can loosely bolt everything up and as long as ew, the new front cat fits where that one is I can start on the back I have had these things for four years I'm finally doing it I'm hoping they fit I hope they fit because they don't make them anymore and I can't return them and even if they did make new ones for the new body ridgeline um, they can't make them as PCDs anymore. They can only make them as high flows. Thank you, EPA. Alrighty. EGR is out. Uh, this, let's see if I can get an angle. This bolt, this one on this side is, stop, really, really, really annoying. Um, this bracket on, I believe, the alternator or AC pump, whatever the hell this is, start, that's a starter, my bad. <laughs> you can tell I don't go in here that often. Um, this bolt on the right-hand side is really annoying because you cannot get a socket on here. So I had to stick a 12 mil wrench on it. I don't have any of the fancy ones. Wouldn't matter. I wouldn't want to hurt them. Uh, close side. And then use the handle from my jack to, you know, once that was out, it was nice and easy. I should only have these... Uh, top four bolts on the cat and it should pull out of here nice and easy then we can get the other one in hopefully it lines up all right bolts are out moment of truth it's already loose looking so hopefully oh oh that's money right there baby oh Take a look at it. Huh. Not too bad, considering. I remove the uh, O2 sensor, put on the new one. Get that back in there, and hopefully everything lines up. Alrighty. In goes the new one. Lay this down real quick. Probably want to... Mm. 
the one stud that stayed in. We'll at least line that up. Put that there. And then move this. I need my arm over there. Um, not really a good place to put this. That's fine, as long as I don't bunk it. I'll get these snugged up and then I'll probably join you underneath. Alrighty, so um, everything's bolted up. Cat is mostly tight at the top, not like full tight, but it's tight. We got the bottom of the EGR valve tube on bracket that holds the bottom of the cat is in place slightly misaligned at the moment but i haven't uninstalled the j pipe yet um i'm hoping that once the j pipe is uninstalled and i have the rear cat on hopefully the misalignment you know i could deal with it hopefully we'll see because for the rear pre-cat delete we have to i believe take off the wheels or at least this wheel. Um, there's a shield. This line right here. There's a shield that I have to remove. J-pipe obviously has to come out. Um, hopefully I don't snap any bolts. I did spray them earlier. But uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe one day we'll take care of this leaking axle seal. Because this is filthy and everywhere. And the whole rest of the truck is clean. Other than that. So I'm going to get the J-pipe unbolted from the rear cat and from the rest of the exhaust. And uh, I'll be right back. Take a look at what that looks like. All right. Cross member is off. Rear cat is disconnected from the J-pipe. Those are loosened. I need to loosen. Crawl on my back. <laughs> See if we can't. Can't loosen these up a little bit. I'm trying to frame this for you guys as best as I can. Not the most ideal thing, uh, but. Here we go. Now, this should let's see. I can just oh. slide this out. All right, J pipe is out. Don't forget to disconnect this before you take that out, because I did, and then I had to play around and do a funny dance. Ugh. Let's take a look at how bad this rear can. Ooh, look at all the nice transmission fluid leaking. I feel like the hot spot in the cat and the cracked looking material. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I'm wondering if that is what's been giving me my check engine light for years and not, you know, the third cat missing or the three inch exhaust system or everything else that I've, you know, done to this poor thing. Um, that's going to be fun because I got to take that out. I have to get, I'm going to have to undo that. I forgot where... I undo it. I'm wondering if I can just undo it right here and just remember to twist it enough. Because uh, this was a pain. I tried to replace this rear sensor in the past. Didn't really make a difference. The sensor doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. To me, I think it's the cat having a hot spot. Um, all right. 
let's try and get rid of some stuff. All right, everything on the bottom end is disconnected. I'm gonna take this wheel off because every video I've seen, excuse me, every video I've seen about the rear cat, this wheel comes off, sway bar end link disconnected. And once the top of the cat's unbolted, you can out this way. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We'll see. You'll see. All right. Wheels on both sides are off. End link for the sway bar is disconnected on both sides. Push it down. All right. All right. Push it. Push it down. Out of the way, hopefully. There is one more bolt. That one. Gonna undo that for this heat shield. Hopefully, heat shield comes out. No problem. Uh, maybe. And we should be able to loosen the top of the rear cat. And uh, hopefully wiggle it out through through here. M and M break. <laughs> now it is time for me to climb on top and into the engine bay to try and, uh-oh, I need to. Why is this stuck? What is this stuck on? There it is. I need to climb in here and I need to try and get to the top of the cat. I need to undo the <laughs> O2 sensor that's up there as well. So I should probably grab this preemptively as well as one of these. And hopefully we can get this. Oh, I, I hate climbing on top of this shit. Oh, hopefully we can get this out of here. This is a, this is a fun one. You can't even see it when I put the camera back there, damn it. Oh, right on this side. No, we still can't see it. Yeah, barely. Oh. This will be fun. This might be my undoing. I need to get to... I can't even point to it. I need to get to... Well, you can see the nut that it's trying to focus on. That is the top right nut on the back of the cat. I need to get to that one. And there's a heat shield in the way. And still got to do the other side of it. It's very greasy in here, too. Because, uh, you know, I don't remember when, a year ago. What's funny is this axle seal was fine. But this boot, boot, blah, 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 this boot blew out. So I had to remove the axle to replace it because, uh, obviously, boot blown. Replace the axle. And then the seal went bad. But what's funny is I removed this axle, which didn't have a bad boot, but I replaced the seal on it because it was leaking. And now this one's fine, and then this one isn't. <sighs> grease, grease, grease. All right. Uh, I can't even see where I'm looking. Three of the four bolts for that cat are out. The top right, bottom right, bottom left, which is the hardest. I just got to do the top left. It's already partially undone. But I'm trying to give you an idea. If you ever try to do this for some reason, even though they don't make these anymore, maybe you'll install high flow cats. That's the front of the car, right? This is the back of the cat. Back, well, this is the back cat. Transfer case, drive shaft. This is the sway bar. I had to take an extension with another extension, a swivel and a 12 L, a 12 shallow. And I had to go up basically right through here, which is the frame, front subframe, and the sway bar. Try and shoot it all the way up between the, the rear engine mount and the top of the cat 
and uh, I braced it against this little corner right here and I was able to push up hard enough to get it to crack loose. I thought I snapped it or something else at first. I did not, I was lucky. So now uh, I'll, you know, get the back one out. All right, so I am uh, very filthy from the blown boots that were in the truck and got grease everywhere. And to avoid putting it back in there just to show you how to take it out, cat has to come down and it has to go, the bottom side has to go towards the driver's side of the car. And then you push it up to the side of the engine. It'll go up, you can bring it down and then the bottom of it will come out towards the passenger side. And there's the rear cat. I hope this fits in there without a problem. And I hope everything lines up. Otherwise, I'm doing all of this shit again in a couple days and I can't use the car. And greasy. I look like a grilled panini. All right, so pre caddies in. I have to do the O2 sensor. I have to get this shield back up into place. There's a bracket that has to go back on here to somewhere up there. Uh, I have to see if this will get caught on anything because there's a defouler. So I had to undo a clip and uh, stretched it a little bit. I don't know if I can keep that safe. I hope I can keep that safe. <laughs> I don't, I do kind of need the sensor. Um, once this is, I gotta, I'll bolt the shield back up. Once this, once the shield's back on, I'll try and fit the J-pipe and then see if everything will line up. It is now dark as hell. So it's time to pop out the not so expensive, expensive photography light. Cause I am not doing this here. All right, update. Cause you got to miss out on some totally fun stuff. Um, Rear pre-cat's in. It's everything's tightened at the bottom. J-pipe is back in. Connections are done. Everything underneath is done. It's getting late. It's late. Uh, I am tired. I am dirty. I hurt a little bit. Uh, <laughs> my light died, so we have a power bank wrapped around the light, wrapped around the, the tent. And I, I mean, like this, this works really well. For, for what it is. Um, I need to reattach, I guess, tighten the core support. I need to tighten up the top of the front cat. Uh, wheels are back on. I need to tighten up the wheels. Sway bars are on. <sighs> tighten up the top of the EGR pipe and I, I, that's kind of it. <sighs> All right, so I would say that the two worst bolts on this entire truck are the rear cat. If you're looking from the back, it would be the bottom left corner bolt on the factory cat. That is fucking horrible. This one, however, this one, I can't even, I'm trying to wedge you in here. This one, I'm trying to tighten now, but because of the area, I'm, and obviously I, I only have these wrenches. I don't have the, the cool ones that ratchet. I am stuck to doing, once I get it on, if I can get it on. I can't do it because I need, I need to come in from where the camera is. I gotta do it like, at a time, at a time. Super awesome. All right. Radiator fan is back in. Remember, it's the bolts with the uh, oh, the Phillips head at the top. And I'll go right here. Oh, I'm so tired and hungry. Uh, 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 uh. So that one. And right under the shadow right here is another one. Be glad I'm not doing this with a 360 camera. Otherwise, you'd have to see this every 10 seconds because I think it was funny. Uh, da -da -da -da. 
All right, there's some electrical connections. You can't mix these up because this fan has a tinier plug, smaller, whatever, brain, than this one. That one goes there. That one goes there. And then, yeah. I'll do those after. Uh-oh, where's this one? This one goes here. Haha, -ha. I totally knew that. So there's three plugs that I'd undone. One, two, three, uh, and you can't, I don't have the light in there, but the O2 sensor for the top of the front cat, it's plugged in right here, the little, little thingy, and it's completely in the dark for you. And now, Front center radiator support is back in. Yours will look different than mine in a minute because I got to put on the brackets that hold this. Jiggly boy. Uh, it's like a little rotation. Just make sure that these are all going to go on top. It'll get a little caught on the edges underneath of here. And then there's your six bolts to hold this assembly back in place one two they have the two holes are not no, the one's not that bad that one's more annoying i think that's everything and i think i, I think i did it we got push bar brackets back on let's do the old the old fire test <laughs> oh, where did you come from? I don't know. It's like Legos, right? When you when you when you have extra pieces left over, it just means you did extra good. Yeah. And there we have it. It's the next day. Uh, do a little cold start video for you.